good morning, and thanks for tuning in to Terrier TV. Today is Thursday, April 11th. I'm Danielle Francavilla. And I'm Tim Cesari. We're coming out of horrible breaking news this morning. Just learning an off-duty NYPD officer was killed in a Belt Parkway car crash in Queens around 6.30 a.m., according to police. They say the 42-year-old officer was on his way to work when he lost control of his motorcycle and crashed. He was taken to Franklin General Hospital and pronounced dead. The crash happened on the westbound Belt Parkway along Merrick Boulevard near the Queens-Nassau County border. At the moment, the Belt Parkway is closed between the Southern State Parkway and continues to Merrick Boulevard. Southern lanes on the Cross Island Parkway are also closed, so we caution you to avoid these routes if you can, and be mindful that your commute will be a little longer if you're nearing these areas. Also breaking this morning, WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange was arrested at the Ecuadorian Embassy in London earlier today. Assange was arrested by British authorities in response to a U.S. extradition request. The U.S. federal government officially charged Assange with a single count of conspiracy to disclose classified information, in other words, computer hacking. Related to the 2010 release of secret documents, Ecuador resigned his asylum, ending a nearly seven-year standoff. Now let's get into this week's top stories. Yesterday, a teen was arrested for bringing a gun into a Williamsburg school. The unidentified 17-year-old 10th grader carried a loaded 44 Magnum in his backpack to the Unity Preparatory Charter School on Driggs Avenue in Brooklyn. A 9th grader reportedly told an adult at the school that the classmate had a gun in his backpack. The school's principal then retrieved the bag in the third floor classroom following a brief struggle. The student carrying the gun was arrested without incident, and sources at the school say that the school does not have metal detectors which would have detected the gun before it made its way into the school. The school has not yet commented on the situation. Also yesterday, the NYPD announced the arrest of 23-year-old Waldo Mejia, the arsonist that set the entrance of a Bronx apartment ablaze last Sunday. Surveillance video shows Mejia wearing a mask and dousing the lobby with a flammable liquid before lighting it on fire. Thankfully, the building's super smelled smoke and called 911. There was no severe damage to the building. Unfortunately, by then, Mejia had already taken off, but he did leave behind a water jug. It is not clear what the charges against Mejia are at this time. And parents everywhere are startled after Fisher Price and a Federal Safety Commission issued a warning regarding the potential dangers of a popular sleeper that parents have used to ease their newborns to sleep for years. Consumer reports say that the Fisher Price Rock and Play sleeper is tied to at least 32 infant deaths. The official announcement from the company and the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission came on Friday with no mention of 32 deaths, instead reporting 10 in the last three years. All of the children who died were over three months old, according to the warning. Last night, a vigil was held for the Westfield, New Jersey principal who lost his life unexpectedly earlier this week. Before becoming a principal, 44-year-old Dr. Derek Nelson served as an officer in the U.S. Army Reserve for over 20 years and then earned his doctorate from Seton Hall University. According to the school's newspaper, Nelson recently donated his bone marrow to a 14-year-old boy in France that he didn't know but was an exact match with. Following the surgery, in February, Nelson was able to speak or move and remained in that condition until his death last Sunday. At the moment, it is not clear whether the operation had anything to do with his death. Last week, a 23-year-old man named Brian Rainey claimed to Kentucky investigators that he was Timothy Pitson, a 6-year-old boy who went missing in Illinois in 2011. Just days later, the FBI revealed that Rainey was not the missing child he claimed to be, and he was charged with making false statements to the FBI. A U.S. magistrate ordered Rainey to remain jailed without bond on Tuesday. We've seen illustrations and simulations of black holes in recent years, but never an actual photo of one. That all changed yesterday when scientists unveiled this very first image of a black hole. A world-spanning telescope network called the Event Horizon Telescope captured the galaxy M87 black hole. National Science Foundation director France Cordova said seeing the black hole connotes a Herculean task. All right, check this out. The woman you're about to see in this video was participating in axe throwing at a venue when the axe she threw onto a bullseye came flying back at her. Fortunately, the woman ducked like a ninja just in time. Watch as she dodges the axe. Since the video was posted on her YouTube on Monday, it has received over 80,000 views. This is definitely a feel-good story. Frequent flyers know this one all too well. The restless baby who just won't stop fussing during a flight. 
As it turns out, the Southwest flight attendant did her entire pre-takeoff routine while holding a restless 19-month-old baby. In an effort to calm the child down, by the time her routine was halfway done, the flight attendant had a plane full of smiling passengers. Southwest Airlines later commented on the event, stating that it was great to see the flight attendant care for one of our youngest customers in such a sweet, fun way. Lastly, it's time for a little entertainment news. Last week, Billboard pulled Lil Nas X's Old Town Road from the charts, disputing that it wasn't country music. Fans began accusing Billboard of racism. The acclaimed country music legend, Billy Ray Cyrus, immediately supported the artist and his song. A few days later, the two released a remix, which was well received among fans. The song is the first of its kind, Lil Nas X calling it Country Trap. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in to Terrier TV. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at SFC Terrier TV. And check out our new website at SFCTerrierTV.com. I'm Danielle Frankavilla. And I'm Tim Cesare. See you again next week.